Jana Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and today I'm going to show you how to make a grid in Photoshop with the rule of thirds. So before we get started I'd like to show you my website. This is SullivanJPhotography.com and you can get a hold of me through this contact tab also, just an FYI, if you want to see my video tutorials, you can go to the YouTube here. You can sign up for our newsletter. And here is uh, some free tips and lessons. Okay, so let's get started. This in front of you is a shot that I took uh, in the California desert on the freeway. And it's a good image to talk to you about the rule of thirds. So let me show you the grid and then we'll talk about the rule of thirds, okay? So in order to start this in Photoshop, there's two ways to do this. I'll show you the um, easy way the second session. So this one right here, the second part. This way you go ahead and you go into Photoshop and you go into Preferences and you go to Guides, Grids, and Slices that brings up the box. Now down in here you'll see here's the guide, grid, and slices. Over here in the grid, this is where you're going to work, you're going to change the grid to 33.3 and you're going to change it to percent and you're going to divide it by one to make a, a rule of thirds. Over here you can change the color, say if you have an image that's super dark and you want to go into lights, you just click on there and you can go OK and it'll change it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on black today. And then you go OK, you push OK. So now you've set up your, your grid but you want to see it. To view it, you go up to the top up here, View, and you go to show and here is your grid and boom here is your rule of thirds grid what is the rule of thirds basically when you break up your image in thirds and the composition lands or your main subject lands on the intersections that gives you a strong composition also like you as you can see here this goes this is right on the intersection and m most of my clouds also land on one of the lines. So this rule of thirds is just an easy way to um, have a great composition or a strong composition in your images. Of course you can center them but if you're going to center your main subject make sure the the goodies around it kind of work with the subject otherwise it's just a boring straight shot. So this would be interesting up here, here, and here. Okay, so now let's show you the quick and easy way. Oh, to not if you don't want to view your grids, you go to Command, and I think it's Control because I am a Mac person, so I apologize, but it's Command H to get rid of it for hide. Now let's show you how to do the easy way of getting the grid. Start off with your Command K or it could be control K for you PC people maybe you can send me a message and let me know but click on the command K and boom right in front of you is the preferences go to your grids and your guides click on that now I've already changed it so it's ready to go but if you like I said you already know how to do all that and you push OK now if you want to view your grid the shortcut is there's two different ways command apostrophe and the reason how you can always check out your shortcuts is if you go over here to show here you can see how it's showing the command apostrophe but once I've already seen it I can go to command H oh let's go to command apostrophe there it is now that I've already got it up and I'm working a lot of times I toggle back and forth I'll go to command H to hide and command H to put it back command H to get rid of it so I just kinda go back and forth once I start the process and that's basically it that's how you make the rule of thirds in Photoshop hope this helps you have a great day cheers